Good day to all grade 9 natural science uh, students who have started with us here at Good Better Best Tuition Services. Thank you so much for joining me while we go through uh, the contents of our first week in this video. And during the first week, as a recap from the session, we looked at cells as the basic units of life as our first topic. And we constructed a bit of a mind map for those of you who were in this, the live session would have seen this mind map. So just to break it up into three compo uh, um, components rather, or topics uh, within cells as the basic units of life, we look at uh, cell structure, planted animal cells, as well as tissues, organs, and systems. Under cell structure, we are looking at the parts of the cell. Okay, cell has more than one part to it. The three main parts of a cell, the nucleus, the innermost part of a cell, cell membrane, as well as the cytoplasm. Then we'll move on to plant and animal cells and have a look at the difference between this plant and animal cells. Okay, Cells contain cell walls, of course, and um, two other parts of cells that um, is more um, visible under microscopic lenses. Um, is a plant in, in a plant cell is the vacuole and the chloroplast. And then we'll move on to the third topic, subtopic, tissues, organs, and systems, where we'll look at different sizes and shapes of cells. We'll look at single cells and multicellular cells, stem cells, as well as cells' different adaptations. Looking at cell structure, the first part of a cell that we'd like to have a look at is the cell membrane. Okay, what is a cell membrane? Now, cell membrane is the boundary or the shell of the living substance. All right, this cell membrane acts like a shell to protect or enclose the cytoplasm as well as the nucleus of the cell. The cell membrane is also able to control what enters and leaves the cell because cells also feed. Cells feed on different things, different other organisms as well. Cells also feed, right? Just as we uh, and plants and animals feed, right, in the natural, by eating food, right? Cells also eat, in inverted commas, food. They also feed as well. And they also um, excrete so to speak, or they allow um, particles to leave the cell as well. That's in essence what the cell membrane is. Then we go to the next part of the cell, which is the cytoplasm. Now cytoplasm, right, if we all, all are familiar with the term plasm, all right, which is a watery-like substance. The cytoplasm is a watery jelly in which all processes of metabolism takes place. In other words, cytoplasm is responsible for the processes that uh, come or that take place within a cell. All right, uh, These reactions keep the cell alive in order for the cell to keep on living as well as reproducing as cells also reproduce. And then we move on to the next component which is the nucleus. Right? The nucleus of a cell. All right. The nucleus of the cell controls the working of the cell, almost like the brain. The nucleus is almost like the brain of a cell. The nucleus holds the DNA, all right, which is a chemical. Uh, it's a chemical, all right. And we often hear about the term DNA. What is your DNA? So the DNA of a cell is contained within the cell's nucleus. Okay. Now within that cell, the nucleus contains instructions, all right? Almost like the brain, a list of instructions about how to make the substances which the cell needs to live, all right? So all that uh, power housing um, occurs or takes place within the nucleus, all right? As that's where the DNA is found. The nucleus also has inherited characteristics, okay? For all inherited characteristics, for example, um, us as humans, we resemble our parents, all right? So we share their DNA, okay? So sometimes we inherit either our parents' uh, smile or eyes, right? Or similar facial structures, 
all right so blue or brown eyes is an inherited characteristic passed down from the parent to the child in the nucleus all right as i mentioned uh, cells can reproduce so the nucleus also is responsible for reproduction as it sets uh, it contains sets of instructions all right and those instructions are transferred all right from parents to children when a new life is formed all right although they are inherited characteristics although children often resemble parents each person person's dna is still unique all right as they obviously will join with the dna of a totally different person and combine to form a new dna as they go on to reproduce just like cells and that is what we covered for the first week of cell structure in the next video we'll be going through the differences between plants and animal cells so stay tuned for that great nine this is a very exciting topic I look forward to seeing you for plants and animal cells